Hey, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be doing a review on one of my new favorite ROMs for the ATT Galaxy S3. And this ROM is called Serenity. So it's version 1.1, so it's still pretty new. But it is really stable. I'll have a link below for the ROM, and it won't, it'll be for the whole XDA thread, so you could still see later updates for it. So what this is basically is this is a Galaxy Note 2 port to your Galaxy S3. So you'll see some stuff that you can't really use like S Pen right here. You won't be able to use that obviously. I mean you could try using the C Pen. Also you get some new things. Um, you, it's the Jelly Bean leak so you have blocking mode, all that stuff. You could tell if I go back down here. Android version 4.1. So you get some jelly bean there. Um, there are some problems with this ROM. One of the things that happens to me, I mean, and to everyone, which is the biggest problem, I guess, is if you go into lock screen right here, and then lock screen options, and then shortcuts, it won't let you choose. So you could feel that vibrate. I don't know if you heard that vibrate. It'll vibrate one two more times. And I'll say, unfortunately, settings have stopped. So that's one thing that you can't change your lock screen shortcuts for now. I don't know about that. Another cool feature that they added is one-handed operation. So you could use like Samsung keyboard to have one oper one-hand operation keypad and unlock pattern. So it'll be really like it'll be all here, so you could use one hand. Um. So the battery life on this. Let's go to battery. I've been using this. For a while today, 8 hours 51 minutes, and it's 78%. The thing that eats up the most battery is Android system. They don't really know what it is, but it's been in some of his rooms. But it doesn't like completely ruin your battery. One of my favorite features is you do get the Galaxy Note 2 camera. If you can see that, you can separate like that way. And there's also this way. Uh, a few problems is, let me um, get up one of the things, is, for example, a video. This was on the earlier version, so I don't know if it still has this problem, but for me it did. Um, it lost voice when it got too loud. Right when they got the touch. I don't know if you, if you could see that. The voice completely lost. So hopefully the new release fixed that. I haven't been able to try yet. This was when I was at the 49ers game. Um, so you do get the Galaxy Note 2 camera. One of my favorite things about the camera is if you open it up, you get the new um, Jelly Bean camera. So when you play the video, you could pause it and then move over there, let's say, and play. And then you can save it. Let's go here. So you could tell that it was able to switch. Um, before, I know some people have said that it's been like it wouldn't tell them if they had LTE. Well, now if I turn off Wi Fi, it has an LTE look. Um, LTE sign up there. I don't know if you can see. It says 4G LTE though. I don't know why it's not focusing. But, so another thing is, you could tell that it's right here, it's themed blue. And when you get down here, it's themed white. And I like it. I mean, it looks good on the white Galaxy S3. So you do get the new notification center with the scrolling wallpapers. You also get, if you look like this slowly. And also, if you open up the apps, it's the new Galaxy Note 2 style where it has an extra row of icons. So you get a bunch of rows of icons. With this ROM comes an app called Update Me. And when you open it up, it will give you a bunch of choices that you could choose. Like launcher, bloatware, bloatware APKs. 
could also choose themes and it has a bunch of them that you could that you could choose from so you have a bunch of themes to choose from if you want to try some of them out um, you could also remove your bloatware which is another cool thing you can change your kernel and you could look at your ROM okay I think it crashed so some this update me I don't like this app either it crashes sometimes you could tell um, another app that comes with this I really like is called Paper Artist it's an app so basically it gives you like you could change the papers and then when you do that you could like make the color so you can make that all look like color it looks pretty sick switch around so it's a pretty cool app I mean it's like I would that's one of my favorite things about this ROM also um, you do have customization for your uh, like called quick panel which will let you choose which widgets you want and which order you want them in this also does come with um, players 4.0 which lets you write documents um, it comes up with all your AT&T bloatware and also does come with uh, DSP manager which lets, you, which lets you make your music sound better the video player is still the same you can tell and yeah so that's Serenity 1.1 um, Google now is working too let me just show you what is the score to the Giants game? The Giants beat the Browns 41 to 27. Okay, not the one. What is the score to the San Francisco Giants game? The Giants are leading the Reds 8 to 3 in the bottom of the 8th inning. Okay, so that's good. Could have come back and beat the Reds. Um, but so this is the Serenity ROM. It does also come with Let me show you some more widgets. It comes with a lot more widgets. You get these new ones from Jelly Bean, and you'll also get the Play Library and that that comes with um, stock. And yeah, so go try this ROM out. Um, I'll have instructions below on also how to install it. It's really simple. And so yeah, go try it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.